Since its construction began, One World Trade Center has been seen in many films, TV series and video games, while under construction. The tower began construction in 2006 and lasted until 2013. Films, TV shows and video games released from 2006 to 2013 will show the tower under construction, unless they were released during this period but set at a later date, e.g. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, which shows the tower completed. Topic under construction The tower is seen under construction in the 2014 BBC documentary Genesis, together and apart about the English rock band Genesis and its members' solo projects. The tower is seen under construction in the 2012 film The Avengers, the finale of which takes place in New York City. The alternate opening sequence features a prolonged shot of Lower Manhattan with one World Trade Center in view. This footage was shot in the spring of 2011. In the 2009 comedy Julie and Julia, Julie Powell portrayed by Amy Adams works for the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation LMDC, where she fields complaints from people who dislike the tower's design. The new construction and the footprints of the old towers are shown. Seen under construction in the 2011 sci-fi film The Adjustment Bureau. The tower is seen under construction in the 2012 film The Dictator during a helicopter tour of New York City. At the end of the 2012 film Men in Black 3, when main character Agent J portrayed by Will Smith stands atop the Chrysler building, the tower can be seen under construction as the camera pans across the city. The unfinished tower can be seen in the 2012 film The Dark Knight Rises as part of the Gotham City skyline. The uncompleted tower is seen in the Doctor Who episode The Angels Take Manhattan, which was released and set in 2012. The unfinished tower is seen in the Transformers – Prime episode Flying Mind, which was released and set in 2012. The unfinished tower is seen in the scene of The Amazing Race 21, where its final three teams went to New York City and was shown on montage. This was filmed in summer 2012. In the 2012 romance comedy movie Lola vs., when Lola and Henry are talking in Brooklyn Bridge Park, the Lower Manhattan skyline is clearly visible with One World Trade Center under construction. The uncompleted tower is seen in the opening titles of the second Storage Wars spin-off, Storage Wars, New York, which premiered in 2013. The unfinished tower is featured in the Saturday Night Live 38th season opening sequence. The half-completed tower can be seen in the 2013 comedy The Heat. The building is shown being around two-thirds complete two different times in Delivery Man, it was released in 2013, but the film is set in 2011. One World Trade Center with the unfinished interior was seen at night in a blimp flyby of Lower Manhattan during a Monday night football game between the Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants on October 21, 2013. The tower is shown at various stages of completion throughout the TV series Person of Interest. There is an annotation referring to a no-fly zone around the top of the building. Some footage of the tower's construction can be seen in the first promo for the channel Discovery Family. Shots of the tower under construction are seen in the TRU TV series Impractical Jokers. The Lower Manhattan skyline can be seen in the background, along with One World Trade Center under construction, in the 2013 film A Case of You. The tower is occasionally seen in episodes of the TV Land series Younger. One World Trade Center can be seen under construction in the background in one of the scenes in the 2013 movie Now You See Me. In the 2013 comedy The Wolf of Wall Street trailer a shot of downtown Manhattan is shown and One World Trade Center has began construction. In the actual movie in a scene where Jordan is in a restaurant with Mark. They have a conversation and One World Trade Center can be seen under construction through the window. In the 2014 movie, The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, One World Trade Center and Four World Trade Center can be seen under construction in the opening of the movie. In the Geico Gecko commercial, Brooklyn Bridge in November 2011, One World Trade Center and Four World Trade Center can be seen under construction in the background. One World Trade Center can be seen nearing completion in the 2014 movie, Five Flights Up. Topic completed. Topic in movies.
The 2015 DreamWorks film Home shows the completed One World Trade Center at the end of the film, along with the Statue of Liberty and Eiffel Tower. The top of the One World Trade Center has also been in Japanese film detective Conan, Sunflowers of Inferno, with the other skyscrapers in New York City. The introduction of the painting by Van Gogh take place in Times Square. An animation of the Lower Manhattan skyline, including the completed Tower and World Trade Center site, is seen when the circus arrives in New York City in the 2012 film Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Two duplicate One World Trade Center towers are seen completed in the future New York skyline in the 2030s in the 2006 film Click. The completed tower can be seen, along with the other completed World Trade Center towers, in the 2008 film Babylon AD, where the High Priestess has her office in Two World Trade Center. In the film and on one of the film's posters, Two World Trade Center is depicted with its original 2007 design before the redesign in 2015. The completed tower and complex are seen in the year 2018 in the 2012 film Iron Sky and on the film's poster. In the film and on the poster, Two World Trade Center is depicted with its original 2007 design before the redesign in 2015. In the 2013 sci-fi epic Oblivion, the fully completed New Tower and World Trade Center complex in 2017 is shown as viewed from the top of the Empire State Building, in a flashback of New York City prior to an alien invasion which ravages the city and entire planet that likely destroyed the tower and complex. The scene is prevalent and recurrent throughout the film. Two World Trade Center is depicted with its original 2007 design before the redesign in 2015. One World Trade Center's base can be briefly seen in the 2014 romantic fantasy film Winter's Tale. One World Trade Center can be seen many times in the 2014 remake of Annie. It can be seen through the window when Annie is brought into Will Stacks and Grace's home located in Four World Trade Center. It can be seen when Will takes Annie on a helicopter tour of Manhattan. And lastly near the end of the movie it can be seen in the background along with the rest of the skyline in the musical number in Liberty State Park. One World Trade Center and Four World Trade Center can be seen in the background of the 2014 movie The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. The Tower and Four World Trade Center are seen in the 2014 comedy film The Other Woman. The tower is featured as a part of the New York skyline in the Spider-Man reboot sequel, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The tower is seen in the 2015 film The SpongeBob Movie, Sponge Out of Water in a parody montage of SpongeBob and Patrick walking across the world. A wide shot then reveals Sandy, who pulls the card with the tower on it to the back of the pile of world cities. The tower and complex appear in the 2014 film Birdman. It also appears in the spoof in universe trailer for Birdman Returns released by Fox Searchlight Pictures, despite the fact that the fictional movie is set and released in 1992. The tower is seen in the background of the 2015 film Ted 2. In the 2015 film Pixels, the tower can be seen in the background in some parts of the movie. In the 2016 film Pee Wee's Big Holiday, Pee Wee decides to go to New York City because of his friend's party that is located near Central Park. In a scene where Pee Wee is riding on a horse and buggy with some friends on the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, the Lower Manhattan skyline can be seen in the background. In the 2016 movie Collateral Beauty, One World Trade Center can be seen multiple times. For example when two characters are walking under the Brooklyn Bridge the Lower Manhattan skyline can be seen in the background. An animation of the New York skyline, including the tower appears in a few shots of the 2016 film The Secret Life of Pets. The completed tower can be seen in many scenes of the 2016 Marvel Cinematic Universe film Doctor Strange, including in the film's theatrical release poster. The tower can be seen in the 2016 movie How to Be Single. When Alice drives into Manhattan in a taxi cab on the Manhattan Bridge, the tower can be seen along with Four World Trade Center. One World Trade Center is visible in the background of the 2016 film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, which takes place in New York City. The film also includes scenes with the Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, MetLife Building, and many other notable buildings in the city. The tower can be seen in the 2016 film Ghostbusters.
along with the ending of the movie when the tower and other buildings in New York light up in tribute of the Ghostbusters. In the 2016 movie Bakery in Brooklyn, the character Vivian talks to Paul on the phone while she rides her bike. In one part of that scene the Lower Manhattan skyline can be seen behind her and One World Trade Center can be seen standing out. A scene of the tower and the rest of the Manhattan skyline can be seen in a derelict state near the end credits of the 2016 film Resident Evil, the final chapter in the aftermath of the T-virus global pandemic. The tower and the World Trade Center train station are seen in the 2017 film John Wick, Chapter 2. In the 2016 film Nine Lives, One World Trade Center can be seen in some scenes of the movie. The tower can be seen in the background of the 2017 film Kingsman, The Golden Circle, when the cure is shipped to New York City and the lower Manhattan skyline is visible. One World Trade Center can be clearly seen in the background of the 2017 Netflix original film The Incredible Jessica James, when the character Jessica, Jessica Williams dances on the roof of her building. The tower can be seen in some shots during an action sequence in the 2017 film Spider-Man, Homecoming. The tower can be seen numerous times in the 2017 film 222. One World Trade Center can be seen multiple times in the 2017 film The Dark Tower. It can be seen in shots of the downtown Manhattan skyline, and when Walter Odom is walking across the street near Madison Square Park, Four World Trade Center and Three World Trade Center can be seen down the street. It can be seen again when the Dark Tower is being destroyed, and lastly it can be seen in the background when Roland is in a fight scene. The lower Manhattan skyline, including One World Trade Center, is visible in the background of the 2017 film Wonder. In the beginning of the 2017 disaster movie Geostorm, the tower can be seen when a tsunami hits New York. The tower is visible in the background during the rooftop party scene in the 2018 Netflix original film Set It Up. The tower can be seen in a shot of the lower Manhattan skyline in the 2018 movie Ocean's 8. One World Trade Center can be seen in the background when Anna goes jogging, in the 2018 movie Permission. In the 2018 movie Skyscraper, when the main building of the movie, The Pearl, is shown on a scale compared to other skyscrapers. One World Trade Center can be seen in the scale. The tower appears in and is used as an establishing shot in the 2018 Marvel Cinematic Universe film Avengers, Infinity War. It can also be seen in the background during a fight scene. In the SpongeBob Christmas film, SpaceBob Merry Pants, the completed One World Trade Center can be seen in which SpongeBob is the moon. One World Trade Center can be seen in the 2018 movie, An Interview with God, when Paul is looking down and in the movie poster. One World Trade Center and other buildings in the lower Manhattan skyline can be seen in multiple scenes in the 2018 horror film, The First Purge. In the 2018 drama, comedy movie Crazy Rich Asians, One World Trade Center can be seen in a night establishing shot in the beginning of the movie. In the 2018 comedy movie, Nobody's Fool, One World Trade Center can be seen when Naisha is driving to work. In the 2018 drama comedy film, Second Act, Maya is accepted to work at F&C, a company located at the World Trade Center. The complex is heavily featured as a filming location for the movie. One World Trade Center can be seen in the animated movie Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse In the 2019 comedy-drama movie High Flying Bird, Ray Burke has his office at the World Trade Center. His office is located at 4 World Trade Center. One World Trade Center can be seen when Natalie meets with Blake at Brookfield Place in the 2019 comedy movie Isn't It Romantic? Topic in TV shows a potential future of the One World Trade Center, set in 2010-11, was seen and talked about in the anime Eden of the East. In the animated show The Penguins of Madagascar episode, Operation, Big Blue Marble, the skyline of New York is seen, showing the new One World Trade Center and Battery Park. Although this episode was released in 2012, One World Trade Center was still under construction at the time. The completed tower is seen in a war-torn Manhattan in the year 2026 in the Fringe Season 3 episode The Last Sam Weiss. 
It seems to show that in the series universe, the National September 11 Memorial and Museum was not dedicated until 2021. In reality, the memorial was dedicated in 2011. It is later seen at various points in the fifth season, set in a dystopian 2036. Throughout the season, the tower is depicted without the 408 foot spire. The completed tower is seen in the pilot of Golden Boy, which is probably set in 2020. One and four World Trade Center, along with the rest of the lower Manhattan skyline, is visible in the background of the American comedy series Glee episode Bash Season 5, Episode 15, which first aired on the Fox Broadcasting Company in the United States on April 8, 2014. The tower is seen in many shots of the blacklist. In some episodes of Doctor Who the tower can be seen. One specific episode in which the tower can be seen is The Return of Doctor Mysterio. The tower can be seen in the Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode The Ebony Falcon Season 1, Episode 14. The opening sequence for CBS The Late Show with Stephen Colbert shows the tower in several shots. The tower can be seen in several episodes of Mozart in the Jungle. In Quantico, the tower is seen along with the Four World Trade Center in the background at the end of the pilot episode, with the chaos ensuing from the Grand Central Terminal bombing along with the FBI manhunt for the suspected terrorist of the attack, Alex Parrish. The tower can occasionally be seen in some shots of the freeform TV series Baby Daddy. One World Trade Center can occasionally be seen in some skyline shots in the NBC drama series Blindspot. Since October 10, 2016, the tower is in the opening intro for NBC Nightly News. One World Trade Center is visible in the background of Marvel Cinematic Universe programs such as Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Marvel's The Defenders, each of which are broadcast on Netflix. An office inside One World Trade Center is used as the main setting for the drama series Succession, which premiered on HBO on June 3, 2018. One World Trade Center along with Three World Trade Center and The Path can be seen in the Season 6 intro of Homeland. The Lower Manhattan Skyline, along with One World Trade Center and the rest of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex, can be seen in the 2018 Netflix original series Seven Seconds. The tower is seen in many shots in the first season of the thriller series You. In the fourth episode of Whiskey Cavalier titled Mrs. and Mr. Trowbridge, the completed One World Trade Center and Four World Trade Center can be seen in the opening scene but it is taken in 2014. In music videos One World Trade Center is shown in Farrell Williams's 2015 song, Freedom. The tower appears in the music video of Justin Timberlake's song, Not a Bad Thing. The tower appears in the music video of Sigala and John Newman's song, Give Me Your Love. A night scene of the Lower Manhattan skyline appears in Bebe Rexha and Nicki Minaj's music video for the song, No Broken Hearts, showing Bebe sitting on a swing swinging back and forth, with the tower in the background. The tower appears in the music video of Rita Ora's song, Anywhere. A night scene of the tower can be seen in the introduction of Pink's music video for the song, Walk Me Home. <laughs> in video games A version of the One World Trade Center, set in 2023, is seen in Crisis 2. The game was released in 2011, when the tower was still under construction. The completed tower can be seen, along with the other completed World Trade Center towers, in the 2011 video game Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, which is set in 2016. The tower can be seen in the Manhattan skyline in the 2016 video game Tom Clancy's The Division. The tower also appears in the 2018 Marvel game based on the titular superhero Spider-Man, but with a different design due to licensing reasons. The tower can also be seen on posters in Train Sim World. Other Puzz 3D released 3D puzzles of One World Trade Center in 2013, along with the Metal Earth one before, but in all those 3D puzzles the tower is depicted as complete. 
The completed One World Trade Center tower is shown in the logo for Super Bowl 48, which was played at the conclusion of the 2013 NFL season on February 2, 2014 at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, located within the New York metropolitan area. The completed tower is shown on the poster for New York Comic Con 2013 with Superman and Wonder Woman. The poster also features the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. The tower, along with various other buildings, appears on the album cover of the Foo Fighters' Sonic Highways. In the book Everlost, two of the characters note how fuzzy the tower, which is in the living world, looks compared to the twin towers, which are in Everlost. <laughs>